Good morning, everybody. So I welcome you all to another lecture that is transcortical motor aphasia and overview. Well, transcortical motor aphasia is yet another type of aphasia that falls into the category of non-fluent types. However, the lesion in this type of aphasia is an interior extrasylvian area, and the vascular damage is fueled by the interior cerebral artery. What are the functions of frontal lobe? Well, it helps in memory, attention, organization, planning, initiation, and maintaining a conversation. The lesion area for this type of aphasia is an interior and superior frontal lobe. Communication between the brokers and the premotor cortex and the supplementary area, supplementary motor area. So what are the main symptoms that um, are present in this type of aphasia? Well, uh, to be honest, a very easy approach towards this type of aphasia is that it is just like Broca's aphasia. But there is one difference. Uh, the reputations are comparatively intact. The common, symptom, the common symptom that you're going to find is that it's a non-fluent and they may be fluent in simple speech tasks like yes or no, naming address, telling your number, telling your daily um, needs, and non-fluent uh, with more difficult questions like reasoning questions, when, where, or how, um, what if, poor naming. Poor does not equal means impossible, but it's still relatively better than Broca's. Good repetition. The repetition is intact and surprisingly okay. So, like, you can also achieve a sentence level repetition without, uh, with minimal effort and uh, error. Reduced speech initiation. There is extreme difficulty in initiating and organizing responses in the conversation. Fair to good articulation. The articulators are not concern in um, transcortical motor aphasia. The possible preservation. The lesion is found at the frontal lobe area, so the preservation is possible. Then again, the preservation is a phenomena in which the person keeps on giving a certain response even after the stimuli is removed. And they have uh, a lot of difficulty in stopping that response. Good comprehension. The vernix area is not compromised, so overall the comprehension is okay, but they may struggle with complex syntax. So that's uh, pretty much it. And in case if you give this patient a cookie tough picture, the response is going to be um, sort of um, same or equivalent or comparable with the response of the patient having Broca's aphasia. So thank you so much everyone for listening and um, kindly like, subscribe and share. And if you have any questions, you can write them down in the comment sections. Thank you so much. Goodbye.